Hello friends, this is not a tutorial, this is a demo for my workflow that I have created in Comfy UI. Uh, if you need early access to the tutorial, right now you can go to my Patreon and enjoy the tutorial and all the project files, else you can wait and in next days I will publish the video, complete video tutorial also in my YouTube channel. Okay, so what is this workflow and why I decided to share that with you? Uh, actually, it's about one week that I am trying to make an easy workflow for creating text effect. Okay, and here you can see this is a text that I am uploading and after that I can get some amazing effect. And now it can do something that Adobe Firefly cannot do that. Okay, let me show you some sample and what is this workflow. At first here you have effect ID. Until now I have set up about 20 different effect and you can select them based on ID number. I will provide complete guide for that and also here is the effect power. Let me show you a sample. For example, with effect ID 0 I want to start to get a text effect, okay? Effect ID 0 is designed to make something metallic. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, something like chocolate. And now you can see that this test effect exactly something like a pieces of the chocolate, chocolates. And if I increase the effect power and again will prompt, you can see that we will lose the construction of this text, but also it could be something creative. So you have to play with the effect power and after that you can take the decision that which power would be suitable for your text. And also replacing the text is very easy. Let me sh uh, show you. Okay, for example, this is my name. And I want to see my name exactly with this chocolate effect. Okay. And with my name, because I use this type of curvy fonts with this effect power it creates something like this and if I decrease the effect power <coughs> you can see that it is more similar to my text okay and if I create the effect ID number two it it's something like a wooden part <clears throat> and it's trying this time it's trying to generate my name with some artwork on the wood mm -hmm. it's really really it's very very nice as you see with effect ID number four, I can change my text to something with flower effect and you can see some different variation here. In each try it is uh, generating four image and you can adjust the batch from here and also you can change the background color from here and again Q prompt and for example when you are changing the background color also it can affect on the generation mm -hmm. and for example if I go to some more dark colors Mm -hmm. 
So I think it's very interesting, but also please let me know what is your idea. And let's try some other effect ID, for example, the effect ID number five. This ID, this effect will try to generate my text with some food product based on the preset that I defined. And here you can see. Okay, this is my name, but with some food product. <laughs> and really it's very, very creative and powerful. Uh, let me show you some more interesting effect ID. For example, effect ID number 12. Also, it's very interesting and it's trying to create this text with some birds. Okay, and you can see the result. Okay, for example, this time my name is changed, all, all of the elements are trying to be something like bird and wood. You can see here. And for example, in this case, if I increase the effect power, maybe the result would be more interesting. Yes, for example, this time this is M, this is I, and this is R. Uh, let me change the text. For example, this one, I want to create this effect with Comfy UI and with some bright background. <coughs> UI so with this effect power we cannot easily see the text okay so maybe it's better to change the effect power to some lower value and again do a try yes this is Y this is I And this time, the text of the comfy UI is visible better. And for example, if I want to create the effect with something weird, I can use the effect ID number 7. You can see the effect here. Comfy UI. Really, it's very powerful and interesting. Mm. Let me also change the effect ID number eight. It's some metallic effect, but with very interesting shading and material. Comfy UI. And this time completely it's made by metal pieces. Let me do some adjustment. Okay, let me increase the effect power. 
and also change the background color mm -hmm. so this time it can create something more different comfy UI Oh, <laughs> this is great. Every time you can get many different amazing results. And all of them are interesting. And let me show you another text, for example, SDXL. And Cue the prompt with effect ID 15. Okay, it will try to make some chocolate cake effect. Okay, and we can see the result. Okay, easily you can see the texture of the cake over that. And this workflow is very easy to use. It's very easy to use and also you can customize it uh, based on your need. But yes, it's very... <laughs> interesting and for example here if I change the effect power to something more this time we can see that we have something like workbench and cake and this time the SDXL is created here And if I change the background to something completely white, we can see some nice drip here. <laughs> oh, great reflection, yes. SDXL <laughs> okay I hope that you enjoyed this video uh, also in next minutes I am trying to continue and doing some more tests and if, and if you're interesting you can uh, watch more but it's all in this video only I am presenting a demo of this uh, tool. Uh, this time I want to change my font because this font is more complicated okay but let's see what will be happen okay we have Amir here I think for this font, I have to change the effect power. <laughs> so depending to the depending to the font and thickness and some other parameters, you have to play with uh, effect power and. Yes, it's interesting, but let me make it lower. Mm -hmm. oh, for example, this is very nice. Yes, this tray is very nice. And also this one. Uh, here I have a uh, upper scale 
but before sending to upscale I have to change the batch number to 1 because it's so hard to upscale all four images in same time okay now it's trying to make upscale here okay and let's see the final result yes it's so nice really it's very nice uh, let me change the effect id to number 17 and this is some painting style really it can generate art from your font or from your input text Okay, great. So let me try effect number three. This effect ID is designed to make some flamingo effect. Oh. <laughs> Yes, you can see the R. Okay, this is Amir again, but this time with Flamingo. Uh, and if I increase the effect power. <laughs> it's very interesting for me and again let's try the effect number seven and check my name with this effect okay i hope that you enjoyed this demo because it was not a tutorial and if you like to completely understand how i made that you can join my patron and also you can download all the source files from there see you soon bye